Okay, guys, uh, I have a lot of slides actually, so I'm trying to be as far as fast as this clock. So uh, please um, put your questions at the end. <laughs> okay, but please memorize on which slide is your question at. Okay, uh, I'm. Uh, I think uh, I feel a little bit strange in here, just because I am an HR person. So, so I am the person who's uh, spending quite a lot of years uh, as an HR person, trying to uh, help people to develop uh, their skills. And actually, uh, quite often, this uh, entrepreneurial uh, skills, uh, skills toolbox, let's say. And uh, for two years, I'm. Um, I'm leading my own company, who's trying to uh, implement those Lean Startup Issues uh, approach to big companies and for startups as well. So I would like to share my well, experience combined with some uh, models which as an HR person I often use, which are very, uh, let's say, helpful for thinking as a Lean Startup uh, um, mindset, creating a lean startup mindset in big orga organizations. Okay, uh, let's. I would like to tell you that uh, uh, what I, my mission is is to create corporate startups and to change employees' mindset uh, in direction of entrepreneurship. So uh, I would like today uh, say uh, something about three issues. One is how to process lean startup in corporate world, it, it, it is mainly based on my experience, uh, you, how to use the Lean Startup in building innovative uh, organization, uh, well, I am starting to help companies to transform into more innovative using Lean Startup approach, and this, the third one is uh, about developing employees in those companies. Okay. Well, uh, at the beginning, I would like to uh, explain a little bit about Lean Startup because when I'm trying to uh, introduce Lean Startup to Polish audience, uh, I have very often a lot of quite similar questions what it's all about. So by Lean, I mean uh, to fail and learn as fast as possible, as cheap as possible. Cheap doesn't mean uh, without any resources. It means I use a minimal amount of resources to maximize learning and effectiveness. By startup, uh, I would like to concentrate on uh, startup uh, in enterprise. So uh, for me, it is a group of people working on some kind of new product service, uh, and they face high degree of uncertainty, and they face three different types of risk. Technical, uh, that's the question, is it possible to build uh, such a product? The market, uh, customer risk. If we build this thing, will we, uh, will people use it or buy it? And the last one, business model risk. Will we earn on this thing? So the biggest issue is that a lot of people, not only in corporations but in startups, are much more concentrated on this part. The biggest issue is to concentrate on this part at the beginning. So later on, it's this part. Because, you know, the customer pays for your imagination. And uh, from my perspective, Lean Startup is not only a combining of three approaches, Agile, Customer Development and Lean, for me, and as I perceive what Eric Ries, who's creator of Lean Startup, it is also the matter of leadership. That's why I would like to concentrate in uh, next slides about uh, leadership issue. When we are talking about uh, design thinking, I, th I think that Lean Startup is combining two uh, areas. A little bit of inspiration and a lot of Lean Six Sigma approach, which is much more rigor. So for me, Lean Startup is much more scientific approach to something what is about creating, innovating. I was looking for this solution for 19 years, because for 19 years I am I'm tried, I'm trying to train people in uh, creativity. So 
after something like 15 years, I uh, finally discovered this approach. Uh, well, a lot of people who are trying to explain Lean Startup uh, forget about five the most important pillars. They are only concentrated on most popular, this feedback loop. And I would like to stop for a little bit for this, uh, each one of these pillars. The most important. Everyone, anyone, not selected people. It means that not only IT guys, not only product people, but HR, uh, compliance people, uh, sales people, can be, uh, can have this entrepreneurial lean startup mindset. It is huge revolution just because a lot of companies trying to implement lean startup as a tool only for product management people or for scrum teams. That's a quite big mistake. The next one is about, you probably know this, uh, the Steven, uh, Steve uh, Blank uh, graph, which explains that the startup way is much more, startup is much more concentrated on this part, and corporations are much more concentrated on executing business model. Well, the biggest issue from cor uh, uh, corporation point of view is that they are much more trying to put lean startup into this frame. So they are trying to focus if we can plan for the future, set some kind of KPI, how can we gather some outputs, outcomes uh, from lean startup without setting goals? That's very strange for corporate people. Well, actually, startups, uh, startups have often the problems of uh, corporations. When they grow to quite big companies, the leadership issues appeared, appears. So, uh, according to the uh, uh, second pillar of Lean Startup, we have to decide if we would like to be more innovative according to Lean Startup, we have to behave in this startup way. It means that we have to set the uh, management tools appropriately according to the startup way, not the corporate way. The third one, uh, it's feedback loop. It's not about product, it's about a customer feedback loop. That's one of the biggest issues just because when a lot of people are thinking about MVP, they are trying to focus on functionalities, not on a lot of different issues, which uh, should be minimum viable, not perfect. The fourth one, uh, it's the, that's the problem that we are still trying and still learning how to measure. And I have one question. If I have two children, at least one of them is a girl. So what are the chances that the other is a boy? Actually, 66%. Because when you are focusing on, uh, I was not talking about the uh, uh, second, I was talking about the other. So. We have to decide what to measure. I, ha I can have two boys, that's not our case. I can have girl and a boy, boy and a girl, and two girls. So actually, that's the 66%. So it's quite difficult sometimes to uh, choose the right metric. And uh, the startup approach is to choose right thinking about not only this uh, matter, but about the context as well. The, five, uh, uh, the pillar number five is about validated learning. And a lot of people which implement in, uh, start up thinking about data. That's the correct one. But the gut feeling, observations are very uh, often uh, important to decide what to do next in the next experiment. So I agree that the data is much more important than opinion because it gives me a straight answer, shall I pivot or persevere? 
But the observation and uh, reflection is something what is not uh, very popular. We are still having problem with learning. Actually, a lot of people are trying to uh, just concentrate on data, as I said. And data, it's not uh, only a fact, it's quantitative, a quantitative approach, but observation. It's about much more quality. One of the biggest issues that we are often trying to experiment, but we are losing long-term vision. So to keep this long-term vision, we have to conclude. We have to have insights, and then we have to decide whether we would like to persevere or pivot. pivot. And to plan next experiment. And one of the biggest mistakes, we are much more concentrated on failures, and we are leaving very often successes without any lesson learned. Well, from my perspective, when I, when I am trying to sell this Lean Startup approach into corporations, I'm using, you know, this very funny thing, uh, uh, words like data-driven. Lean Startup is data-driven. Learning what works and minimizing risk of failure is something what corporations as well understand very well. Disciplined way of uh, focusing on customer centricity. And Lean Startup is also the uh, way of changing the business model. Okay. So, but uh, very often when I'm trying to uh, implement this Lean Startup approach into corporations, they say, people need a process. Okay, so let's have a process. So we are very often starting with some kind of idea. We try to look for different perspectives, so that's why we are very often using design thinking as a way of discovering a customer. Then, very important is to define this the, um, set of assumptions uh, using business model canvas. And then, we have to do something what a lot of startups miss. It is a quick evaluating, uh, about calculating if the profit and the costs, what are the proportion, about the market potential, and in corporation, very important, uh, if my idea fits the direction of the company. Something what is very important, because Maybe not a lot, uh, not, not a lot of companies are ready to produce another Google car, for example. And the next one is experimenting. It's clear Lean Startup approach by validating the uh, leap of faith assumptions. So we are doing a lot of experiments. Something what is very important is to document the results of experiments. A lot of uh, group of people who are trying to use Lean Startup forget about documenting experiments, about documenting conclusions, reflections. And then finally, after two years, it appears that your group of uh, segment of customer, which was cancelled two years ago, now it appears to be a very good uh, segment of customer. That's my case, actually. <laughs> uh, so we are trying to focus on uh, looking for problem Solution fit, it means do I have the right answer for the customer problem? And then after experimenting, try to focus on, uh, on product market fit. Uh, so validating if other uh, assumptions about other parts of business model are correct or not. That's the whole process which I would like, uh, which I'm uh, very often implementing during two days of workshop and trying to do uh, something like three experiments live on a real problem, real idea with uh, uh, corporation employees. But the most important is this one. Without motivation, without interesting, uh, intrinsic uh, motivation, nothing will appear at the end. So that's the most important issue when we are focusing on Lean Startup approach, because we have to be disciplined in experimenting. So it's very demanding. So 
The question is how to use the Lean Startup in building innovative uh, organization. I would like to tell you that according to my experiences, this is the, the, uh, the, the tool which helps to support entrepreneurship. And I would like to give you two ways how to achieve it. One is typical for this person, the uh, Blair Beverly, who's trying to implement Lean Startup to Google. It's quite a partisan way. So it is the way I won't ask for permission. I will ask for forgiveness. So I will give you the evidence and the facts that customers really are waiting for some kind of solution instead of asking if I can start experimenting at all. That's the risky one. So I much more prefer the Adobe Kickbox way. That's the very good example of how it could be implemented in the corporation. You can uh, look at this solution uh, in details on Adobe Kickbox uh, website. So it's open for everybody. The issue was that uh, two years ago they started with this approach. They used a waterfall uh, approach. And during one year, they produced something like six to uh, 12 products. And they spent around 100,000 to million dollars for each one of the products. So they asked themselves, what if we let our employees create new products and services? How could we organize this entrepreneurial uh, entrepreneurial approach based on Lean Startup. So finally, they decided to focus much more on creating innovators than on creating innovations. They decided that the most important KPI would be the rate of uh, failures. So if a lot of failures will appear, it means that it works. So they decided to create not a program, but uh, certain uh, product which could be uh, scaled. So decided to build this product as a two days of workshop and something what they called Redbox. I will explain in details what is uh, in the Redbox. But the most important that they set the first experiment. So decided to invite 60 employees and they said that the success rate would be if at least 10 of, out of 60 people will keep the uh, box, it means that it is a success. By keeping red box, the participants of this workshop decided to use this approach to start his or her own project about verifying if my idea about new product or service uh, will be um, uh, popular, will, will be uh, uh, some kind of answer of uh, customer need. So finally, it appears after two uh, days of workshop, 59 out of 60, pers uh, pers uh, of 60 people kept the box. So it was a huge success. Inside of the bo red box, the, there was a set of tools to eliminate barriers in being innovative. So before the workshop, they asked just a question. What stops you from being innovative? One of the most important issues was this one. Prepaid credit card was the answer for one of the biggest issues that the lack of funding stops me from being innovative. So I decided to give every participant this prepaid uh, credit card with $1,000 without controlling uh, uh, the the, the transaction on this card. So decided that you are CEO of your own idea, that's your finance. You should decide what to do with those money. So they decided to uh, prepare these uh, very um, simple cards, reference cards about steps of the process. And uh, those were the steps of the process. So at the beginning, we, we, they were talking about motivation, then about, let's say, how to think about different ideas and grab a lot of perspectives. Then they uh, decided uh, to, to 
uh, introduce this much more business model alike approach to concentrate and to combine all this idea into one certain idea to validate and then typical lean startup approach and finally every employee uh, who decided to use this red box approach lean startup approach could uh, have a pitch, pitch uh, uh, at front of uh, senior managers and ask for a blue box blue box it was the personalized set of tools to do a prototypes certain prototypes of this idea on real market so they uh, ended uh, red box with validating problem solution fit the uh, blue box was about validating product market fit finally after two years they spent one million dollar the same amount of money as for one project implementing one product service they had already 23 blue boxes given so it means that 23 people decided to do uh, their prototyping uh, with real customers and a lot of um, other projects of participants in progress so it appears that quite a lot of different ideas could be created by employees much more than in typical waterfall approach so in the same way telefonica is approaching so they trying to use this lean startup approach and the results are like this reducing uh, in something around 50% of uh, budget for projects and uh, reducing at least uh, more than uh, 50 more uh, five, uh, 45% more projects the same way is approaching GE GE has its own uh, approach it's called fastworks and this is one of the example uh, of producing this engine uh, for jets printed in 3d uh, printer so it appears that they can prototype things much faster than on typical production line even Toyota tried to use uh, the lean startup and for example this navigation set of tools is just Android tablet just put uh, in the car after one month not after something like two years and the issue when I'm trying to uh, talk with the customers, corporate customers, there's a lot of challenges. The biggest one is the mindset. Not every corporation is ready to think about this uh, entrepreneurship approach. The other one is the lack of balance between meritocracy and customer centricity it means that quite a lot of uh, experts inside corporations are, are much more wise than uh, uh, customers it is the reason why a lot of uh, idea uh, boxes which are implemented as a solution for collecting ideas in corporation doesn't work at all just because they are evaluated, ideas are evaluated by experts which very often are not feeling customers uh, let's say okay another um, challenge is uh, organization structure quite typical uh, problem is about silos which are not uh, very good in implementing this uh, lean startup, uh, lean startup uh, approach so much more networking and cooperating readiness to network and cooperate is something what could uh, help in implement this entrepreneurship approach and then another one we are very agile and lean inside the scrum team but in the rest of company it's still a waterfall and we, when we are trying to 
consult the new idea with the rest of company like legal, finance, and HR, and different uh, units, business units, it appears to be, well, typical corporation approach. And the, one of the biggest one, finally, the highest person, the paid person opinion really matters. Not the facts about uh, customer needs and proof that customers really want the solution. And issues with incorporating these ideas. It means, as I said, uh, a lot of business units which are supporting, like uh, sales, are trying to stop this bloody idea just because it destroys the KPI system, for example. So finally, it appears that the most important is to build the accountability. Accountability, it means that everyone in uh, corporation on each uh, organization level should, accountable, should be accountable in uh, his or her behavior. It means that the behavior is setting out how the organization culture looks like. So, Without having these proofs that managers are ready or employees are ready to change their behavior, we cannot do uh, effective implementation of this approach. So a lot of uh, corporations like ING in Holland, uh, in Netherlands, are changing organization structure into this tribe approach. So they are building tribes around uh, one customer or one big area of interest. They are uh, combining people from different departments into squads. Every squad is work working on one project. And th those are the people from different departments. People from different departments, from different squads, are united into a chapter to keep the track uh, how to use the different solution, and we have, of, of course, the Agile coach. This is very uh, often uh, met solution for big corporations. As I said, ING is trying to implement this the same approach to Poland. Actually, right now it's working in Netherlands. In Poland, we have Objectivity. That's the software 450 people company in Wrocław was operating in the same way. Much more matrix than in hierarchy. And the uh, next one, from my perspective, well, my behavior is not about only my potential. It's about a context, about organization context. It means I can be a very innovative person. But when I am working for a corporation which is not allowing me to uh, change the status quo, I won't be innovative at all. So we have to think about this uh, enterprise uh, environment uh, inside the comp uh, company. So the last uh, issue is about how to develop the, this uh, entrepreneurial mindset. Uh, at the beginning, I would like to start with the innovators. Something what is very important is hedgehog concept. I don't know if you know that, but it's about this motivation. I will be motivated to and disciplined to validate my ideas if I could be um, Best in so, uh, the best person in the world in some kind of area. If I can be uh, and use my passion in this project, and if I can uh, earn on this idea. If we have all these three aspects met in my idea for new product and service, I will use all my knowledge, all my uh, potential to drive the results. And innovators, 
the developing the innovators is about developing uh, uh, actually uh, five different skills. Associating, so combining two di uh, different uh, perspectives. Questioning, so setting very uh, uh, not unpopular questions. Observing what is competition, for example, doing. Experimenting in the startup way and networking. Something what is uh, very often uh, misunderstood that if I will keep my idea, they won't stall. So <laughs> that's the wrong one. The best one is to share ideas among the people just because we uh, gather a lot of information about competition, about existing alternatives, for example. Very uh, important uh, issue is that uh, people who are multi innovators in corporation uh, have quite different set of uh, values. They're much more, uh, they ma uh, value much more autonomy and uh, influence than a security and recognition. It means that in corporation, not a lot of people tend to be innovators at the beginning. And something what is very important, and Intuit implemented, uh, Intuit implemented this approach. So, dear manager, dear legal compliance, finance and HR, please get out of our way. Just because the bottleneck is always at the top of the bottle. It means that always, uh, if we would like to fight with you, we are at the lost position. And uh, Intuit uh, try to, uh, decided to implement this approach and they decided that the innovator needs from uh, enterprise a time. Uh, the best option is to decide to spend 100% of time on doing this innovative uh, approach, but the multitask is not a very good idea actually. That's very hard to uh, accept in our reality. Uh, innovators need autonomy to decide whether to uh, choose uh, this idea or the other one. They need to work in uh, multidisciplinary teams, it's obvious. They need a set of uh, skills to develop and to have a clear process. They need uh, to have a forum to share ideas and to validate with other employees who are very often the customers. And they need some kind of budget like this uh, $1,000 credit card, uh, uh, prepaid credit card. And please remember that when we are starting this innovative uh, entrepreneurship approach, we have, to, uh, um, we have to count on few percent of the, of the people who are ready to be the first innovators in our company. But the, the, that's the beginning. If we, uh, we will be uh, disciplined in, in implementing this approach during next years, this number of uh, innovators will grow, actually. That's the best, uh, the best um, example is uh, GE, uh, fast work way. Uh, they implemented Lean Startup approach and this fast work something like four years ago. Uh, they decided to, uh, mm, to train in Lean Startup approach, fast work uh, approach, every senior manager in their company. And it appears to be something what is not only used to create new products and services for external customers, but for internal customers as well. Very good example is HR. HR decided to cancel all these uh, performance, performance management system based on ranking people after 40 years to create a fast feedback system without uh, any ranking people at all. So it's quite, uh, let's say, not typical. Okay, innovation managers. It means that when we are trying to build uh, this entrepreneurship approach, we have to prepare our in, uh, managers. Because, as probably you know, quite a lot of we have this situation. A lot of uh, founders of those companies are from one company. 
So they were working for, let's say, corporation. And according to the research, we have quite big problem with engagement. According to the Gallup Institute in the USA, only, uh, oh, excuse me, it's not 100%, it's 30% of people are really engaged. Uh, something like 50% are engaged somehow, and 20% and are people who are disengaged at all. So they are trying to uh, do something what is against us. The biggest problem is poor leadership. And the question, a very difficult issue is that in Poland we have this approach to leadership. It's a grand approach uh, taken from 19th century, uh, century according to the <laughs> a lot of resources. So we have the Polish typical leadership model is to create distance between manager and employer, to have unlimited power and ego of the box, to uh, create a lack of uh, accountability, passive and reactive approach. So we are uh, trying to do everything but not to think in our company. So we are uh, waiting for patronage uh, just because we are counting for safety, for belonging than for freedom. We have very typical uh, saying in Polish, control is the best uh, way of uh, trust. Uh, in people, so it's typical Polish approach. And I have found uh, this nice slide f uh, on uh, Facebook. There's one question, should the boss have all answers? Yeah, yeah, but... Uh, well, so let's have a look at this one. <laughs> I don't know from which conference it is. It was something what is was you know spread in the network, and so I found it and decided to just to yeah. <laughs> well, uh, the biggest issue to develop the managers is developed uh, balanced managers. I'm not saying about forgetting about ego. I'm saying about balancing it. So balancing it it means that. We have to uh, be, as a managers, as well as uh, forceful, we have to be enabling, we have to be uh, strategic and operational in the same uh, amount of time and energy. But we have to uh, remember about uh, building employees' engagement. Uh, engagement. And we have uh, 12 issues to think about engagement we are, when we are thinking about engagement of our employees. We have to decide what we are expecting from them. We have to decide to give them uh, materials and equipment to do their job right. We have to uh, uh, create the opportunity to, uh, for them to do uh, something what they are the best in every day. We have to recognize we have to care about them as uh, about the people, not employee. We have to encourage them to de develop themselves. We have to count with their uh, opinion. We have to f make them feel that their work is very important according to our uh, company purpose. We have to create the atmosphere uh, in which uh, all colleagues are committed to do the right quality job. Uh, the best option is when the employee have, uh, uh, has somebody who's very close to him at work. The very good, very important issue is about think, uh, talking about progress every half a year and uh, to give a chance to learn and grow for every employee. Well, this is the biggest issue when we are implementing the new startup approach just because without 100% engagement it won't work at all. And very important, when we are creating a entrepreneurship culture we have to rem uh, remember that the leader will appear. The leader Leaders are the people 
whose job is to recognize the greatness that already exists in a people and create the atmosphere, the environment in which this greatness can emerge exactly. It's not management, it's a leadership. And leadership is not the same, it's not only the role of managers. As managers, we have to be very uh, careful and uh, careful about these uh, leaders which appear in a company. Very important issues, of course, the celebrating failures. Uh, so, a lot of corpor corporations trying to do this fuck up night, for example, is a very good idea actually. And uh, the mindset of managers should be bring me market proof, dear employee. But something that is very uh, hard to understand by managers, so uh, very good ideas uh, are presenting in front of managers who are self-aware and with a solid self-esteem. And the same recognition given from the manager who is not a strong personality is not the same uh, recognition which is given from the person, from the manager who is self-aware and sort of have a strong self-esteem. And very useful uh, tip, when you are trying to implement Lean Startup Approach, involve managers to do the same experiment stuff as uh, uh, innovators. And uh, something very um, personal tips from my perspective, when I was implementing the Lean Startup Approach, entrepreneurship approach, we were concentrated about uh, caring about innovators, so creating the work condition, uh, giving them the time uh, for doing innovative uh, uh, projects and space outside of the building. Uh, we were giving they, them out autonomy so they uh, can decide uh, what idea to think of and validate on the market. We gave them the financing, so it means that every team uh, received uh, around uh, $800 to validate their ideas. We decided not to change the compensation, so we decided during the building innovative uh, product you earn as the same uh, salary as typical on everyday job. And we decided to implement different uh, tools, for example, uh, the um, uh, Slack solution to change ideas in groups. But very important was uh, to care about the, the roles of the, the different uh, employees. Well, the mindset of, of uh, top management is very important, but it appears that the biggest issue in implementing uh, the Insta approach is about middle management and experts. Uh, they uh, very often try to fight with the time spent on ideas that uh, the innovators should first do their KPIs, then they will have a time for innovative approach. That's the wrong approach. And uh, very important is the role of product people and HR, I will explain in the next slide. And preparing uh, sales and support units to implement uh, those solutions in something like a few months' time. The role of product people should transform and we have to prepare them uh, to be much more facilitators and mentors for innovative uh, innovation people, from, uh, for innovators. And we have to decide whether in this uh, Lean Startup project we would like to engage sales and support, I mean, uh, legal risk, uh, finance and other departments at early stage or not engage them at all. It's a very important issue. And 
quite different approach. If you know the Gore company, they're producing Gore-Tex. They decided to rebuild whole, uh, um, whole company. So they uh, eliminated hierarchy, so just the project teams works in this company. They have no managers, only leaders, which tries to gather people who are trying to be uh, to, to, to be uh, the best people in what they are thinking of that they could be in the world. So CEO is selected. Every employee is focusing on experimenting. Uh, project teams uh, crea are created as a result of voluntary engagement. And uh, project teams uh, have autonomy to decide what, how the salary should look like. So it's typical entrepreneurship approach, and that's the very good example how we can change our organization uh, according to the very good examples. Just because the result finally is hundred uh, thousand, uh, sorry, thousand projects led by this company, not few of them. That's all. If you have any questions. I'm ready to ask, and the presentation is on uh, Bitly, this link, so you can upload it, uh, download it, sorry. Thank you very much.